Hey, how's it going out there, folks? Welcome back here to a Friday night. It is the Earthmaster here, about 8.40 p.m. California time, September 6, 2024. Latest activity here on the globe shows a uh, 1.7 into the Hawaii area. Notice uh, we did have a bunch of movement down here across the uh, area of New Zealand. Actually, kind of skipping New Zealand there with some of these uh, moderate quakes. They've seen a handful of smaller quakes in between here, but uh, I was expecting some adjustment uh, throughout the day today, but hey, still could happen out here. We've seen, like I say, movement over here in, in uh, Australia, activity over here across the Pacific and the Antarctica plate. And overall, you know, it, it does take a rocket scientist to see that this area is definitely under a lot of strain out here with a lot of broad scale activity. So I'm still keeping New Zealand there in the earthquake watch here for tonight, uh, potentially for some further movement. 2.7. Uh, looks like about five minutes ago, 2.5, 20, uh, 22 minutes ago. So they're still seeing some earthquake activity at various areas across, uh, looks like mainly North Island, a little bit down South Island as well. But, uh, you know, goodness, we've seen uh, a little bit of activity out here today. 5.0 uh, earthquake off the North Island coast here and also a 5.2 along the plate boundary south of the South Island area. Uh, Australia came in with a 4.5 following this activity today. So all this movement that we've seen across this area here is putting the strain up against this plate boundary. We're seeing some of these intraplate earthquakes uh, happen there today in Australia where we've seen a 4. Point, uh, well, EMSC reporting that as a 4.7 and a couple other twos in there as well. So, you know, keep an eye. Obviously keep an eye on this area for some further movement overnight. Uh, pretty good clustering going on. Some newer activity here across the Philippines southward. Got a swarm of activity over here across the Java Trench now. Uh, this area uh, kind of pinpointed last night. This area is one region that really hasn't seen a broad scale adjustment. Yeah, we've seen that nine pointer up here back in 2000, uh, 2004, if I remember right. The Indian Ocean tsunami and uh, Sumatra earthquake up here. Uh, but this little area down here across the Java Trench is capable of producing some large-scale activity, but we haven't really seen any in quite a long time. So all this swarming that's going on there is something to watch pretty closely. Uh, there's a five-pointer in this area and also a handful of threes and fours following that same movement there along that area of the Java Trench today. So heads up in that region uh, across Taiwan northward into Japan. Got uh, a little bit of activity stretching out here today. One earthquake uh, over here across the western edge here of the subduction zone, a 4.4. And then one earthquake from last night up there in the uh, Japan Trench. But uh, yeah, there's not a whole lot of newer activity out here yet across this area. Uh, the Alaska area, some older movement there, 4.6. And a couple other smaller quakes up north here along the Aleutian Trench. Uh, but overall, I mean, it's uh, it's a major subduction zone, so it's going to see some earthquake activity on any given day, but nothing big going on there for now. Out across the Pacific Northwest, uh, not a whole lot being reported out here. Nothing going on for the Cascadia subduction zone, but uh, let's double check the trimmer here tonight, see what's going on. Nothing. Zip zero. No trimmers to report there along the Cascadia. Now, this is not volcanic trimmer, but trimmer more or less like a slow vibration between the two plates here in the uh, deeper areas of the Cascadia subduction zone. But nothing. After uh, about a month of uh, almost tremor on every single day, there there is nothing right now. All right, far as Northern California goes, handful of smaller quakes out here. Uh, nothing big going on. There's the Clear Lake volcanic field. That's the hydrothermal plants over there. Outside of Reno, getting a couple smaller earthquakes this morning. And... Um, Further down south here, getting some clustering going on once again around Bakersfield. Some twos and ones coming in there throughout the day today. Also, the Ridgecrest area seeing a, a small amount of uptick as well. Extreme Southern California, San Diego down here getting in on the mix a little bit with a 2.4 and a 1.3 from today. So a uh, slight, slight uptick here across this area of the state of California. A handful of earthquakes over here across the Brawley Seismic Zone as well, which is going to be here around the Salton Sea. But uh, aside from that, um, you know, nothing major going on. Hopefully it stays that way, but uh, you never know. 
Nevada area looks like a, a slight break here from all the earthquake activity they've been seeing here across western Nevada recently. Got a couple earthquakes here around the Goldfield Hills area. Two earthquakes or a couple in there. This is the area that's seen a, a bunch of earthquakes here over the last week. We're talking uh, about 150 earthquakes of various magnitudes spread out here against these uh, mountain ranges here, the hills. And um, But for now, it looks like it's toning down slightly. But that, again, that could change in a blink of an eye. Texas area, Oklahoma, uh, typical movement out there. Nothing going on in Yellowstone. We'll double check that, though, make sure that we don't have any uh, crazy activity going on. Uh, earthquake activity. I do see one. This is some outside interference over here around Horse Butte. I'm not for sure what that is, but earthquake activity is going to look like this here. Well-defined little spike. That seismograph station uh, is showing that signal, and it's showing up across many other seismograph stations in the area. So that's a legit earthquake across the region here. Nothing big. Uh, if anything, that's probably uh, maybe a two-pointer. Just going off of uh, <clears throat> what these seismograph stations look like. But uh, they're not reporting it. So it was just one earthquake, though. Nothing showing up here. All right, uh, Hawaii out here in the middle of it all, out in the Pacific. Got uh, a little bit of uptick stirring up across the Pahala area. That's going to be the deeper regions down here in the magma plumbing system. Got a trail of activity stretching here towards the Loihi Seamount. This is where uh, magma intrusion took place here earlier this year, off down in this region. And uh, now we're starting to see a little bit of earthquake activity down there, but uh, nothing uh, major. Mauna Loa showing a little earthquake activity, but uh, nine miles underneath this area. There's a 1.8. Uh, let's go check out the uh, Kilauea Volcano activity here real quick, see if we got anything of major interest. Uh, refresh that, make sure this is the latest data. Deformation data, any surprises out here? Negative. Fairly neutral here over the last week. Really no major move in the inflation or the deflation department out here, as you can see. Just uh, consistently staying consistently stationary. Aside from some earthquake activity up here at the summit area, stretching down towards lower east rift zone. Um, that's just, just a waiting game watch and see what happens here in the days ahead uh south america we've got a couple earthquakes here there's that 5.7 from early this morning really nothing else there at least in terms of larger scale potential got a handful of smaller quakes there on the emsc globe middle america trench as well seeing some activity if you look here on the globe got uh, some movement up here across the baja california area into the gulf of california working its way northward here so we could be seeing a little uptick here take place in California, uh, potentially tonight or maybe even tomorrow. So keep an eye here uh, in the general Southern California area. Uh, aside from that, uh, let's check out space weather. Anything major going on here? Not a whole lot. Not a whole lot of aurors in the forecast either, unfortunately. Uh, we do have a number of sunspots that are currently facing the Earth. The overall flare threat, though, shows about a 15% chance for an X flare, M flare at 65% chance, and C flare around 99. Again, no major roars in the forecast. And looking at the complexity of the magnetogram image, uh, shows a whole lot of uh, deterioration here. Not a whole lot of complexity anymore. This sunspot area down here is looking uh, quite degraded. So we'll wait and see what happens around the uh, far side of the sun. I know there's a couple different areas out there that have been popping off some massive CMEs here in the last couple days. More than likely, that's going to be coming from 3792 here. This is the far side. This is going to be the eastern limb of the Earth-facing side of the sun, the western limb where the sunspots depart, and they go back around the far side of the sun, and we'll see them you know, in a couple weeks. Well, 3792 and 3796, I believe, are the culprits of the recent... Uh, massive CMEs here recently. So they'll be coming up here uh, in a few days. We'll get a little bit better perspective. Maybe we'll see them cresting out here around the eastern limb in a few days. All right, uh, anything major going on out here in the tropics? Uh, real quick glance here at the weather. Well, this is the older forecast. I would have to run the uh, runtime back a little bit, see what uh, is forecasted out here. Some type of tropical system down here in the Gulf of Mexico. 
Uh, looks like early next week. Limited, though, to the Mexico area. Going to bring some thunderstorms up into Texas area and the Gulf Coast states, but nothing of any major organized activity for now, at least on the forecast here. Look at that massive, some type of massive hurricane out here. Uh, I'm kind of curious to see what that looks like. Is it going to show up on the eastern? Oh, yeah. That's like a Category 5 out there in the uh, eastern or the uh, Atlantic out here. With that pressure bar down in 947, that's a crazy-looking tropical system. We'll have to keep an eye on that. The models are hinting at uh, some type of tropical development out there. Uh, but then again, this is way in the 22nd time period. Not all that reliable. All right, a little spike of an earthquake there on Petrolia. Aside from that, seismograph stations all look quiet for now. Keep an eye, obviously, around the New Zealand area. There's been, you know, it's putting a lot of strain out here across the New Zealand region. It's on a bend there along the plate boundary. Of course, you got the subduction zone, the Hikarangi, and uh, many other fault systems out there that uh, are, you know, a little hazardous there for the New Zealand area. And when you got all this activity encircling it here and encasing it, um, yeah, got to got to keep our eyes open for this area. Have a good night, folks. We'll catch you guys back out here for the Saturday morning update. I am going to bed. Been racking my brain here for the fall semester at the college. And, uh, man, goodness, it can wear you out. But uh, anyway, all right. Have a good night, folks. Stay safe out there. We'll see you guys back out here in the morning.